So continuing our Citadelum playthrough, we have the second part of the tutorial, We Gather Strength as We Go. So Aedes Peluncas, 40 BC, a large continent of Marcus Antonius troops was gathered around Brundisium, the south of the Italic Peninsula, and threatens to take the port. So I think this is most mostly focused on military. Thus, Gaius Octavius is forced to send his armies requiring a significant effort, which has repercussions on all his territories. However, the confrontation does not take place, and both leaders reach a tenuous is your task to establish the camp of Gaius Octavius next to the city of AD or Ads Peluncas, north of Brundisium, and to prepare yourself for possible attack of rebel legions that ignore the peace that has just been signed. So, reach a population of 80 plebeians, reach 20 patricians, buy 150 silk, and send 150 silk to Rome. So, let's start. Again, we want to start near a place with um, resources. So, this is an iron ore deposit. Where is... So do we have any stone deposit? So, this one has some stone. I think this is not ideally the best place to start. We have some stone there. And I want to see some br bridges. Right, let's see if we can build that. And there's some stones, some iron. We have a lot of stone here, so I think this is again the perfect place to start. So maybe we'll start about here. Near the water. So something like that. Now we want to reach um, a population of 80 and a pre prestige level of 2. So what the first thing that I think we need is to establish homes. So we want 80 plebeian housing. Oops, so I think I made a mistake with the roads. Let's just remove that. Then let's create roads here. Is this perfect? No. <laughs> so let's do this and then remove this ones. Now I just want it to be perfectly sitting on the grid. That's why I'm uh, moving things along. Now, we can probably do the same on the other side. We'll do that. We have 30. We have um, homes for 30 plebeians. Then we can probably do the same. You now what? Let's just play the game. And then let's put an engineering post. Maybe on the water. Something like that. Although that is not the best placement since these engineers cover a certain area. Then we want a place for our fire house. So maybe a little central like this. And then we want a water mill here. A reservoir. Cross, and then is this the best place to put this one our reservoir covers a huge area so can I build it here if we can build it there I think that's perfect we can probably do something like that oh, it's not connected so <laughs> can probably connect that okay so that's good that should allow our fire station to be functional we'll have two and then uh, we are slowly getting our population so what else do we need so we definitely would like to have some wells in the future but we'll focus on we'll focus more on our resource and food production at the moment I want to have, I actually want to have a settlement, some settlements here. So maybe we'll use this hill in the future. But for now, I'm guessing that I would just want a stone quarry. Maybe on this area. So let's put a stone quarry here. Then an iron mine as well. Right? Then for a logging camp, I'm thinking just using the hill since I think this is 
it just sits perfectly there and so we'll not do anything with the trees so let's go down oops okay so let's just do that okay so i think this is good at the moment we are logging 60 wood per day with wood we are doing 100 and then 40 for iron so this is a good start um and then before we start having people work on or we, before we start bringing people in we want um we want food to be addressed so thing is i've always wanted to see some fishing going on although i don't think we can have that at the moment we don't have that option so we can go on the other side and then have a granary here so let's put a granary on this side and then let's have some wheat here so let's just do that now we don't have any people working for the wheat field so let's start putting more homes so where is the best place we that we can put home so maybe this side right we want more plebeian homes here then add a couple there then let's just extend it to there okay so that looks good now this should we should start seeing people working on our field and our granary although this will also result on uh, having unemployed unemployed people so we'll focus on that once we get to tier 2 now what else do we need do we also want a warehouse we want a warehouse that is um covering both uh both the wood and the uh, or production we seem to have mastered it but you have to keep advancing to do so uh, basic resources will not be enough. The construction of some buildings require refined resources, so both wood and stone can be refined into a new, higher quality resource. So a stone cutter and a sawmill to produce bricks and planks, which are needed to construct more advanced buildings. Make sure your warehouses near the production buildings to collect resources. So maybe we'll just do two warehouses. If uh, so, yeah, let's just do. Let's just do. Two warehouses. I want a warehouse placed in this corner and one and one here. And then we can focus on building a sawmill. So where is the sawmill? So we want a sawmill. I want it to be near the woodcutters or the logging camp then we we should be able to produce the 20 wooden planks required okay so now we've done with the wooden planks health and entertainment so patricians as you know are demanding so your citizens need entertainment and activity so and service buildings and to keep them distracted and happy especially the patricians in addition you should keep an eye on the health of the population doctors offices are a good way to keep any issues that may arise at bay Keep in mind that citizens you want to entertain themselves will want to enter entertain themselves by watching shows from time to time. To check this need, you can you can place the cursor over the people's favor indicator. Satisfying these appetites increase people's favor so you can use it strategically after you have raised taxes and are going through some popularity crisis. To do this, for example, in this case of the theater, you will have to train actors to perform the shows. Okay. To perform the show, you must choose. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm guessing the game wants us to focus on having um, or satisfying the needs of the Libyans. So, uh, the patricians. So we haven't placed any homes for patricians. So maybe we can already start doing that. Before also doing that, I forgot, forget to um, start producing melons. So we can do a melon orchard here and a cabbage orchard here. So that should 
be enough. I guess we we only have one unemployed worker. Uh, we will definitely have uh, something for the unemployed ones in the next coming things to be built. So we want a bath. So we want a bath here. And then we also want a tavern. So where is the tavern? Also this one. The one with the drink. Okay, so we want a tavern there. Now before I forget. We also need a tax office to collect taxes from um, from the from the patricians. So let's do this. Uh, I want a road going out like this. I think that looks good. And then we we can keep on building over on this side. Now the tavern doesn't have the necessary required resource. So what is the necessary required resource? I think we need wine. So in order to have wine, we need grapes and we need a winery. So we can continue building over here and then have a winery. We don't have enough resources. What? What do you mean? Um, this building is smart. So we need 30 planks. Okay, so now we have. And then we can assign people or, or the gra or, grape orchard probably do three then this should start producing you know what let's do two there and then let's start four so the, this could start producing more grapes and then we could start producing wine okay let's keep this at bay okay so now those farms now have four so this is a production chain that we have although that would also decrease the uh, desirability of the homes around the patricians New prestige unlock so level 3 is unlocked you know how you bridge doctor's office and then some temples in there and the decorations okay so let's play the game at 3 speed so we can start collecting a bit more money and then start producing the resources that we need well the minus i see that they have explained to you how to build a settlement and manage it but it is time to turn your grace or your gaze to the gods. I, Aelius, can advise on you on how to do so. So it is important for the inhabitants of a settlement uh, to worship God. So to do this, you must build temples. Um, <clears throat> so in addition, the people need to hold festivals in order of the gods. The longer it is since the last one was uh, the more it will negatively affect the people's favor. So do we need to continue... Um, what do you call this? Continue um, holding festivals? I'm not sure. So, but remember that for the duration of the festival, workers will be given a break and they will stop production to celebrate. One thing I forgot before we do anything is we want a well. So where is the well? Um, we want the well to be... Maybe we can... Put it somewhere around there. Now what's happening here? Housing does not enough have enough food. So we are not producing enough food for our people. Uh, what food do they need? I don't think they need... Oh, they, we want wheat. So we can also start building more wheat fields. Uh, maybe we can do... Some other place. Maybe we can start putting wheat fields here. And a granary here as well. So I think that is good enough. Hopefully we can start stocking up food. We can assign the people here who are unemployed. Okay. Now hopefully we'll have enough food before they start leaving the settlement. Now we want to build two temples. Let's play the game in three speed for now. Uh, patrician taxes are only 375 worker wages we are paying a lot of workers so I uh, we should start looking at how our scaling should be maybe we could start building more Libyan homes here what is happening so some residents are leaving the city due to lack of employment so that's the first one although we don't have anyone unemployed at the moment uh, and then there has been one murder so that's not good 
we are having a food crisis and I don't like what I'm seeing. Uh, we already built a couple of wheat fields here. Hopefully that should uh, decrease the amount of food that we need. I mean, the stocking, we still, we are producing. Can we see? Okay, we're producing 840 per day. And we are only consuming 165. So I'm thinking that this should start, we should start seeing this uh, notifications go down since we are already providing more than enough food for our people right do we have any other issues i don't think we have um no stock what no space to stock so let's put more uh granaries here so we can maybe build it at the back I can't build two there, so maybe we'll just do this. We're building two. And then we can come down the road. Okay, something like this. Now we don't have people to work on our granaries. Oh, yeah, so that should be good. I'm hoping that this will slowly resolve the things that we are in need of, especially the food one. I'm not sure why this is happening since we are producing more than what we need what's this no more space to suck food of outbound resources what does that mean outbound resources do we not have any place to store our stock here do i need warehouses For production buildings I think this one is for food, right? I don't think this is necessary, although a fire is happening here and I think we just need to expand our fire station. We don't have anyone to work on the, on the fire station, so I think that and then he doesn't, he doesn't have access to water. So let's build a small well. Okay. And that should help them suffocate the fire here. Some citizens are leaving due to lack of employment. This is still a thing. I don't know why. One citizen has died because of uh, some murders. <laughs> uh, let's do some decorations. Maybe we can do couple of things here for our plebeians or our patricians I hope I'm hoping that should this it still doesn't increase the zone desirability but we'll maybe have that increase once we start building our religion so we want to build two temples I'm thinking Mars since Mars is uh, the god of war right so this is a Roman game, so I'm thinking of a Greek game, something like that. So this should be, yeah, it's, it's right. It's just Mars. And then can we have, I think Jupiter is also someone or a god that we want to worship. Let's just connect those two. Okay, so it's time to present yourself before the gods. Each of the gods demands that you build a certain number of temples in their honor for you uh, to grant you their favor. So all of this information can be viewed through the religion management window. So, but remember that gods are arrogant, so worshipping one of them can make his rival jealous and punish your settlement. Also, you, you should be aware that you will be able to pay a visit to the gods in the pantheon itself by clicking the button on the lower right. Okay. So visit the pantheon. Ooh. God's blessings and punishments. Once you know all this, you only have to learn how to interact with the gods. So in the pantheon, you can check the status of each gods. If you place the cursor over each of them, it will show you information about the status, how many temples you have built in their honor, and how many days have passed since you have held a festival under their name. When you attain the maximum level of favor with the god, they will bless you with a divine boon. So each one of them will be different. And to receive it, you only have to select the corresponding god 
Next, you will see how to go down your city and perform the blessing. Don't forget, they can also get angry. So select Ceres, which is her. Click her. Ooh, she'll go down. Okay. Invoke her blessing. Oh. What? Select Ceres again. Invoke your blessing. Where are you going? Oh, you have already seen how important it is to provide your people with certain comforts. Both Libyan and Patrician houses have a certain... Uh, have certain needs that you need to satisfy, fulfilling a series of requirements. Uh, improves the level of houses. So the higher the housing level, the more citizens fit in them. Oh, okay. So we don't need to build too much houses. We just need to upgrade them. Uh, also, in this case, the patricians will pay more taxes. So we want this to be um, satisfied in order for the housing to be upgraded. So it's not just about stocking up different types of food. Ooh, the appearance is also important, but... Be sure to decorate the surroundings. Ooh, that's good. So, I'm not really sure what's happening with um, the food requirement here. We, are, we have a lot of cabbages and does that, I think this just means that I misplaced some of uh, the buildings here. Uh, so, that, that that's decreasing the um, oh, I don't think that's that's the issue it's actually decreasing the desirability of the zones so I'm not so sure what's happening here uh, daily requirement consuming 15 wheat a day we don't have a reservoir near them so I think we just need to build another one maybe on that side and then connect it something like that should do although i'm not sure why we are not producing or we are not providing them enough wheat i'll have to figure this one out consuming 15 wheat per day we have 20 wheat here we are i, I think we're producing some the granary is not fully filled so no more space to store more stuff to outbound resources. I'm not sure what's happening. Um, we have a granary there to... Uh, we have the granary there to store our resources. So I, know, I don't know what's happening there. We need to upgrade two plebeian homes. Um, but in order to do that, we need to provide them the food that they want. We already have a wheat farm here, so I'm not sure what's happening. We have homeless citizens, so I need to build more homes. Oh, we have a limit here. I think we can't build outside. Yeah, we can't. So, is this... Oh, can we still build a few homes here? A plebeian home can be built there and there. So I think that's the perfect end to that zone. And then maybe another one here. Though I'm really not sure what's happening with the food situation. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just a bug or something or some sort. Yeah. Um, plebeian housing has collapsed. Rebuild that one. Yeah, I'm not so sure what's happening here. Um, I'll have to take a look at this one. Upgrade two plebeian houses to level 3. So I don't think we can... I don't think we can do that. Since zone desirability is so low. And then we are also not providing them with the food that they need. But I'm, I'm really not sure why that's happening. Uh, everything is connected by road. We have... We don't have wheat here on our storage, but our, our granary should be full of them. We have 652 wheat there. 
Oh, I'm not sure what's happening. This just I, I thought this would just need to take time. We have tons of wheat in our production and uh, over uh, what we are consuming so that that's really something that's bugging me i'm not sure what's happening there yeah i really i'm really not sure uh, i'm guessing this is just start the materials production we have an iron we an iron mine already what can we do with our iron so produces armor from swordsmith you know what let's just do some swordsmith swordsmithing here uh, maybe this will do but yeah i'm not really sure what's happening um the food situation has not resolved itself you're also having some storage issues so i'm just hiring more people to start working on the fields because we have a bunch of unemployed people here. Yeah, I'm not so sure what's happening. <laughs> if I can't resolve this, I might... I'm afraid that might just be done with the game. This housing does not enough have enough food. The patrician's homes does not have enough food. Although we are producing tons of cabbages and melons. So I'm not so sure. Um, I'm really not sure what's happening. We don't have a fire station here. That's why the buildings are burning. Ah, yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure what's happening, guys. Uh, this might be the end of this episode if the food situation doesn't fix itself. And I'm just, I'm just stuck. And the game doesn't help me with this. It just says that this house does not have enough food. Although we are producing tons of resources. We have lots of wheat, lots of grapes, melons, and cabbages. So it's really something that I'm not so sure what's happening. So yeah, I guess that's where the episode ends. I don't want to end there, but... I can't continue with the tutorial if it won't allow me to have uh, to be able to satisfy the daily resource uh, requirements needed for our people so I guess that's where we end uh, unfortunately um, I apologize for anyone who's following this one and is also stuck um, if you know the work around when this happens please let me know in the comments down below that will definitely help me individually since um it's uh, i really don't know what's happening so uh leaving the comment down below would probably also help some people who are watching and are stuck in the same situation as me so if you know please please comment down below i appreciate everyone who's come this far into this series this is a two-parter where we played the first one so we already played the first one, the first tutorial, and this is the second one, and we are having issues here, so so sure. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of our content, and comment down below for any feedback you want, and anything you want to see more from our channel. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.